welcome back to Effortless Gents. Thank you for joining us today. If you are new here, welcome. I am Baron, and on this channel, we typically discuss men's style tips, how to dress well, how to dress with confidence, and basic Q&A questions, kind of like this video today. So if you're in that kind of stuff, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I wanted to make a quick video while I'm thinking about this because I feel like it's really important and also kind of really easy, but considering that I get this question or a variant of this question so many times every single day, I wanted to have this video to point them to so they have the answers that they need. Number one question I always get or a variant of it is, how do I match X with Y? So let me give you a few examples. I have these brown shoes. What color pants go with brown shoes? I have these white sneakers. What kind of shirt do I wear? I have a burgundy sweater. What pants go well with this burgundy sweater? I understand that it might be a little bit confusing. So I want to give you two-ish tips that you can apply today to use uh, going forward when you are putting together outfits and it is super simple. Color matching is not a difficult thing and you never have to really worry about how to dress for your skin tone. Are you an autumn or a winter or whatever, whatever you've read online? Just ignore all that stuff and just watch this video. So tip number one, you wanna memorize this. Menswear neutrals. Okay, say with me, menswear neutrals. Menswear neutrals. Menswear neutrals are like the best colors in the world because these colors go great with each other and also with every other color out there. So as long as you have clothes that are made up of these colors that I call menswear neutrals, you will always quote unquote match. I'm going to flash the colors uh, right here, right here, so you know. Okay, so just to list them out, the colors are white, black, gray, brown, tan or khaki, light blue, navy, and olive green. These colors always go well with each other. Some better than others, but for the most part, they all go well together. The one exception is if you are wearing a black suit, you don't wear brown shoes, but hopefully at this point, you've kind of internalized that already. I don't have to explain that to you. Even though they are both technically menswear neutrals in this case, you don't wear a black suit with brown shoes. You just wear black shoes common sense. Okay, back to the subject of menswear neutrals. Let's say you throw in a fuchsia or a burgundy or a tangerine orange shirt for some reason. I don't know why you're wearing that, but let's say you wanted to. If you're wearing a majority menswear neutrals, then you don't have to worry about orange not matching because by definition, menswear neutrals match perfectly with each other and with every other color out there. Okay, so I'm going to flash the colors one more time. So pause right here and make sure you memorize this or screenshot it, whatever you have to do. Let me also give you, uh, this is like a tip 1A, I guess. These are like some outfit combos or like shirt and pants combos that I typically go with that work really well together all the time. So you have denim and a white shirt. Very basic combination. Number two, chinos, like a khaki colored or a British khaki, which is like a darker khaki color and a light blue shirt. Always looks good together, super easy. The contrast level is perfect. There you go. Outfit idea number two. Outfit idea number three, your basic pair of black jeans, whether it's like a really inky dark black or maybe it's a little bit washed and faded and a gray t-shirt or a gray flannel shirt or a gray sweater always looks great together. Contrast level is great. Black and gray always work together. Basic outfit idea number four, khakis and a navy sweater or a navy t-shirt or a navy shirt. Khaki and navy, both men's wear neutrals, enough contrast in between both of those and they look great together. All right, so that's outfit color combination number four. Again, super simple. You'll notice that all these colors that I mentioned are in the menswear neutral category. So like I said, as long as you have colors that are in this category, you don't have to worry about them not matching. So feel free to experiment and give it a try and see what you come up with. You won't go wrong. Okay, tip 1C, really quick. Sorry, I didn't mean to have as many tips, but tip 1C, I said this word contrast a few times. Contrast essentially means the difference in color value between one piece of clothing and the other. For example, you don't wanna wear a khaki shirt with khaki pants of the same exact color value or the same shade because then you look like one amorphous blob of khaki. You're dressed like this amorphous blob of khaki. Which you never want to look like. If you are not advanced in like color matching or you don't really know what you're doing yet and you're still experimenting, try to um, go with two pieces that are uh, that contrast each other really well. So one is really dark, one is really light. I think that is the uh, most safe and foolproof way to go. 
yes, there are ways that you can wear colors that don't have too much contrast. Maybe have a tonal look to your outfits, or maybe you wear denim on denim. That's a little bit more advanced. If you have to watch this video and you have to understand how to match really basic things, stay away from the uh, outfits that have little to no contrast and stuff that is tonal because I think that takes a little bit more finesse and uh, you can get there eventually but I think if you're still figuring out the basics stick with this idea of one men's wear neutrals uh, two these basic color combos that I mentioned and three the idea of contrast okay finally tip number two that was tip one and one B and one C or something like that this is tip two okay this is totally separate this is if you want to include a color in your outfit that is is not a menswear neutral. Like I said, you can have tons and tons of outfits just with menswear neutrals and you never have to leave this little box of safe colors. But sometimes you wanna try, I don't know, uh, a yellow shirt or maybe you, there's like a cool rugby shirt with like red and white stripes or um, I don't know, maybe something that's like really bright green that you wanna wear. How do you, how do you do that? So what I always suggest is you go with one pop of color. So have, build an outfit that is made up of menswear neutrals and then take that one piece and let that be like the centerpiece of your outfit to where that is the one thing that is the standout. If you really want to include a color in your outfit that is not a menswear neutral, that is exactly how you do it. Your whole outfit is menswear neutrals and then you throw in that one pop of color, you are safe, everything will match perfectly because by definition, again, menswear neutrals match perfectly with each other as well as every other color out there. One pop of color in an outfit of menswear neutrals will always look good. Why don't I wrap this up here? You let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know if it helped you um, and if you have any further questions when it comes to matching either color or putting patterns together, uh, wearing multiple patterns together or even just wearing one pattern and how do you do it with your outfits. If you have any questions about menswear neutrals, things like that. Hit me in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think. I'd love to hear if this has helped you uh, and if you have any further questions. So go ahead and hit me up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that like button if you liked it. If you loved it, please subscribe. I will really appreciate it. And that's it. Please share this video with a friend if it did help you. Cool. I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Peace.